Thanksgiving Eve. Well, here with her guide on probiotics is chiropractor and wellness expert, Dr. Kira Gerber. Welcome to the show. Hi. Hi. Always great to see you. Good to see you, you Don. Nice to have you here. I'll say, a probiotic is getting so much attention right now, so let's just talk about first what exactly they are. Probiotics, just like in the natural environment, there's an ecosystem in our bodies. That's what probiotics are. They're the natural bacteria that are found within our gastrointestinal tract. They, they play a key role in our immune system function yeah. from baby to adulthood and on. Um, and they're just massively important. And it's really important to consider foods that you're eating and whether you should pro, uh, uh, supplement with probiotics as well. And yeah. why are they so important? Like, what do they do? Because I, I, I hear that, but you know, like that, your health starts from your gut. Absolutely. So what, what they do is they protect your gut lining. So they, they form basically a protective barrier and uh, stop other more harmful bacteria's pathogens from overgrowing. So if you have a loss of natural bacteria probiotics that are friendly, it gives way for the growth of other bacteria that can cause harm. So, so let's, that's talk, usually let, let's talk about some of the things that, you know, if you're if you deficient in, in probiotics, is that's, a, that's a possibility not to have enough almost in your system. Is, almost almost everybody. Almost everybody. Yeah. So what are the, some of the symptoms that we'll start to notice and say, okay, you know what, this might be the issue, yeah, the so probiotic, lack of like probiotics. Any gastrointestinal symptom like gas and bloating, uh, certainly even depression and, and anxiety have been now linked to a low uh, probiotic load basically um, so yeah th those are some of the symptoms that I look to but I, I right. would suggest that before you even think about symptoms you should think about prevention right. and I think if we look at some of the reasons why we're lacking in probiotics and the importance of them you should consider um, even before you become what we call uh, with it having that dysbiosis which is the symptoms that you're talking about yeah. you know consider uh, supplementing something and, very right away. and then so uh, and we're taking them as supplements because I know there's like billions trillions there's I mean there's all different kinds so break it down and uh, what do we need and how much of it do we need well it depends on the person, to be honest with you, okay. about how out of balance you are. So if you've taken a ton of antibiotics in your life, if you know you've, you've taken a lot of um, GMO products, so you're not yep. eating a super healthy, organic, non-GMO foods all the time, then you know you're, you're killing them. You know, the problem is, with even with natural foods that we get on our table, like broccoli and spinach that have a sprinkling of probiotics on them, they're irradiated by some of the systems of basically, you know, so keeping... Yeah. As our system is not digesting these uh, the, properly, if we don't have enough pro pro probiotics in there, yeah. so we're not getting enough of the nutrients it, from our food that are going into our system. 100%. Yeah. Right. So they actually help us to digest the food. They help with uh, carbohydrate digestion, fatty acid digestion, and protein digestion. So if you don't have enough, you're actually not actually getting the nutrients that you're putting into your body. You think you might be eating healthy, but if you don't have those in enough force, then yeah. uh, that's a problem. And also, then we're seeing all the ads on TV: yogurt, yogurt's all you need. Yogurt's all the probiotic you need. Yeah. That's not no, the so case. Commercial so. dancing in a hula hoop. Skirt, and then you all of a sudden you think this has got enough probiotics. Do those yogurts have that, that right amount? They've done a fantastic job of promoting the idea of probiotics, but I would suggest that commercial yogurts are not the best option. The reason being is that they're actually they're killing all the natural bacteria by. Um, you know, by heating uh, the food up, pasteurize, pasteurizing, pasteurizing it, it, and yeah. that kills everything. And then yeah. they add a bunch of fillers and sugars and, 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 and um, artificial sweeteners, and then they put a sprinkling of probiotics back in there so they can slap a label on it. Right. But really, if you're going to do a yogurt, you want to go with a natural homemade yogurt, okay. which helps to feed the natural bacteria that are there. One other benefit that we didn't touch upon um, is for children, and that's super, super important for their gastrointestinal tract and for, for mothers who are going to be giving birth, um, and making sure that moms are... are because your first dose of probiotics is, is when you're born. So really? okay. having, having a mom with probiotic sufficiency yeah. creates a situation where the, the baby is coming out with that first dose, if you will, uh, yeah. through the childbirth process. So right. okay. mm -hmm. I think I want to go through, have a, a minute left to go through some of the foods that are high in probiotics okay. and, and why. Yeah, we've got a few here. So this is kimchi. This is a yeah. Korean uh, cabbage uh, product, and, and it's been around for since the 7th century. They, they've known about its uh, salted vegetables. So it's tons of uh, antioxidant uh, and probiotics. And it tastes great. It I tastes actually really great. enjoy the taste of it. Really yeah. like. You should yeah. try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I and, uh, Sometimes I just yeah. throw it on, like if we're doing, having a meal or something, I just throw a little, yeah. get a spoonful of it and throw of, it on. Lots of garlic. I know yeah. you like garlic as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. It's so quite tasty. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Which is a good one to do. Now, what's this one here so that we have? I would say homemade or store-bought um, non-GMO uh, organic uh, sauerkraut. Okay. Either red or um, the regular uh, variety is terrific. And this is unpasteurized. Un again, lemon. Unpasteurized, yes. very good. Yeah, that's that's super important. Okay. 
or you know, we have a we have a kraut master friend who gives us some sauerkraut that he makes at home. It's delicious. And again, this is just so tasty. Yes. You put a little mustard on the side of this, and yeah. you got yourself a nice mm -hmm. little, little piece so of chicken and a little this, like, glass of wine here. Nice little meal. <laughs> <laughs> we'll what talk, is this one here? We'll talk about this one next. So this is natto. This is. Um, mm. Oh, that looks hideous. Yes. Ooh, so yeah. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. It's that one also. What is this? What is this? Very pungent flavor. Oh, pungent flavor. And Chris, you definitely should try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna say. I, I, I can't even get is it. Is it a bean? Is it a bean or a meat or, it, a, or a, it's a cheese? Fermented, what, fermented, it? fermented soybeans. Oh, so, oh that oh, not so much. Oh, you're awful. Oh, no. Oh, oh, it's, oh, no. Oh, no. It is awful. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wow, was that ever bad? Guys, okay. we're going to take a quick break. We come back, Dr. <laughs> Dr. Kira is here, and she's going to be sharing her best tips for a pain-free back. That one oh, is awful. Horrible. <laughs> this oh. is a, I'm going to put this one back in. I need to read. I need to read. Oh, that one was shocking. Oh. Thanks so much. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I don't know why. Oh, oh. That was so good. Oh, oh. oh my I'm God. You. I did warn you. You did warn us. Yeah. Coming up. Say goodbye to back pain. And if you're not going to start asking for money, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> And she's going to show us now easy ways to relieve back pain, which is fantastic. Chris, when yeah. I really suffer from lower back pain, I know you it's do. a common thing for both yeah. of us. We just yeah. get struck out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. can be literally move two inches and yeah. fall to our knees. So. so what you're doing right now, just bouncing on the ball, is actually kind of good. It actually opens the discs a little bit. So if okay. you want to start with that, that's great. This is great this, watching TV. Yeah. We oh, do this that. a lot of times, too. Yeah. Yeah. No, we yeah. do. It's like yeah. kind of crazy, but yeah. No, it's a little bit of fun. It's, so yeah. when you go to the gym, it's usually at the end of the day, again, after you've been sitting, driving in your car, and you get to the gym, you start working out right away. Yeah. On the ball is a good way to warm up your lower back and your hips. Open okay. them up a little bit. So I'm going to show you an exercise. Okay. Yep. So you can stop bouncing if yep. you can for a okay. moment. Yep. Yeah. What a three-year-old. Believe me, it's hard to stop us. Yeah. So you're, I, I, you're going to take your hips and you're just going to circularly roll the hips and the lower back on the ball, keeping your feet as your foundation point. Okay. Yeah. And you're going to do ten and get make the circle go bigger each time you go. Bigger exactly. than this? Yeah. Well, as big as you can. Yeah. And then you go back in the other Anybody direction. And that's not going to start asking for money if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and that's it. So what that wow. does is it focuses a, a little bit of a stretch and a little bit of um, warm-up in the lumbar spine, your lower back muscles, yeah. and in the pelvis. So I'm those, getting that in the pelvis, yeah. which I'm thinking is the so, hips. Am I right? Yeah, exactly. That's sort of yeah, that yeah, hips yeah. and pelvis, yeah. and it just opens things up, and it gets the blood pumping to that area before you start to work out. Okay, wow. okay. So this is just nice to loosen it up. Perfect. This is great yeah. if you have one of these at work, too, yeah. just to kind of little yeah, just do take a, a movement break, right? Kind of like that little... I think your relationship's starting to fade, you know, in that way. Just say, hey, baby, come over here and get on the ball and do some of these and... Get ready I knew to you guys would have fun with this one. Yeah. That one. So there's one more, actually. Okay. Oh, one more right here, yeah. Figure four stretch. You're going to cross your... Oh, uh, oh, 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 yeah. This is where I'm going to lock. So this is bad. My pants are too tight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. So this is, this is stretching Holy. your yeah. your external rotators of your hip, which okay. is an area... Daniel, come here. I chair hold on to the camera. Be I chair might be better. Let me hold on to the camera. <laughs> here we go. Oh, yeah, you're in. <laughs> Okay, we're so, good. and then if you can, just lean forward a little bit, and you, or you can roll back on the ball, yeah, or forward on the ball. But just trying to stay and, still. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you'll feel it right in, in the in the butt, right in the glute. So you, clearly, you both need to do this exercise. Did you see how high my? my <laughs> good, good. Whoa! <laughs> All righty. Let's get to the next All one, right. shall we? <laughs> and now you need a chiropractor. Oh, yes. look, here is here. Yay! <laughs> So, so maybe we're just doing that somewhere where there's some open space. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So up system. against the wall, you're going to put your heels, your butt, your shoulders, and your head against the wall. Yeah. Okay. And then tilt your tilt your uh, your head just down a little bit to take off. I feel like I've been arrested and thrown yeah. up against the wall. Against the wall. Got some yeah. against behind me. Yeah. So okay. and once you're in that position, you're going to bring your arms up to 90 degrees with your elbows at 90 degrees also. Okay. Okay. Just recheck that your head is against the wall, and then you're going to push with your elbows and your wrists into the wall. And what you're going to feel is the strengthening in the rhomboids, your upper back muscles. And what that does... Are you okay? I just think this funny. Can you imagine? At home, you're doing this. Someone's going to call the police and say, okay, you're being held up. And you're in your living room like this. 
Yes. No, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Please come to the door. <laughs> what this is good for is strengthening the muscles in your upper back that become weak as you sit at the computer and that kind of thing, and it will help to relieve tension and adhesions in that area of, of your body as well. This is a heart. Like, it's, Can you it's, shoot this skinny in this shot, please? Just shoot me really narrow. Like, <laughs> it's not as easy as you think. I know. You know, but you know what I find? Yeah. Like, it's hard to get it all, like the well, butt and the shoulders and the elbows and the wrists. Yeah, and if you can't do it, that means you have to. You, you should yeah. do it, right? Oh. Because I'm so, starting to do yeah. this, and I, I yeah. tend to want to go forward. We probably should have done the, the next exercise first. That's oh. a chest opener. I, I didn't think of that. But what, we're going to chest? Okay. open the, the pec stretch. So you actually go against the wall. Yeah, okay. Against the wall like this. Oh, this way. Yeah, like that. So there's three different positions. It's like a dance move. Put your hand out like this. Three different positions. <laughs> we'll make yeah, it move it. Of okay, so that's, that's stretching the middle fibers. Then you're going to move the arm up the wall oh, to stretch up. the lower fibers. Because yeah. yeah, if you feel that, eh? you can do yeah. this in the shower in the morning, getting ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Actually, the heat from the shower is actually yeah. helpful in stretches. And then you're going to bring your arm down the wall, sort of into a lower position, yeah. and that will stretch the upper fibers. You can really feel that this is in a very intense stretch, and we're not bouncing; we're just holding. Holding, right? holding. movements. And, and again, what you're doing is you're opening up those areas of the of your body that get tight and short yeah. so that you don't get adhesions and muscle fibers and it actually is preventive for neurological strain in the in the neck and down the arms as well so and just keep your shoulders back as much as you can it keeps the shoulders back, back during the day yeah, yeah. It makes you very conscious of where your shoulders actually are great yeah. information yeah. love you love you great love you. thank you thank you so much great. for being with us today guys before we go we've got a great giveaway for the audience everyone in the audience is going home with two zen probiotic supplements with good bacteria to restore natural balance to your gut and strengthen the body's natural defenses you're also getting BioGaia supplements to help treat colic and improve digestive health in newborns and children. Thank there you, you again. Always so good to see you. Oh, I love having you on the show. Oh, Rod, a lot of fun. Thank you so much. And great information. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick break. After the break, my angels are here. Woo! We sent them to the mechanic. <laughs> to learn how to, how to tune up a car. Oh, my God. That's so good. The angels yeah. and the mechanic. It's like sending me.